Dan, thanks ever so much for joining us. How uh, how's lockdown treating you? Uh, it's, it's not too bad. I mean, now it's I think we're on the fifth week, uh, something like that. It's obviously getting harder and harder as as the weeks go. Um, for the first couple of weeks, it, it it was quite good, quite nice uh, to be at home with with the family. Um, probably the first time I've been at home so much in. God knows how many years, really. So it was nice uh, waking up with the kids, putting them down and playing with them all day and stuff. It, it was really nice. Um, but yeah, as the weeks go on, it, it's, getting, it's getting more difficult and the motivation to keep training uh, is getting harder. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can get back soon. Which is tougher, the motivation to keep training or the motivation to keep building dens and doing puppet shows and things? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I think I'd rather be training. <laughs> yeah, no, you miss it. You miss it. But yeah, all these things with the kids, the little activities that you're doing, you sort of you're making up things as you go along. Really, um, anything to keep them entertained for for the day uh, is is good. But yeah, now we've enjoyed it. We we've done numerous things around the house. Um, but yeah, no, it, it's been it's been okay. What's your speciality? Are you a, a Lego castle builder? Are you a, a, you know, little comical voices with cuddly toys? What do you do? Uh, no, I'm a hide and seek specialist. <laughs> I'm not so, talking about between you and the wife. What? <laughs> I'll get the best place to hide and sit on my phone for half hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. How, how old are your kids? A uh, three-year-old and an eighteen-month-old, uh, two oh. girls. So there's a lot of energy there in your house. Uh, yeah, hundred percent. They're non-stop. I mean, the little one goes down for a nap still in the afternoon, but then you've you've got to entertain the other one for a couple hours. Um, but that's 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 okay. That's when sort of one of us gets a break, or we do a little homework and we're all, all doing it together. <laughs> so we sort of got a little routine going. Um, but yeah, when they're, they're both awake and causing havoc it's, it's it's tough has it given you a newfound respect for mrs gosling now that you can't say oh the oh. gaffer wants me in for extra training and you can just <laughs> i think i'll be asking for extra training when i get back <laughs> i've turned into a full-time cleaner full-time house husband everything it's it's been a real insight yes cooking are you a good cook yeah i, I don't mind cooking to be fair um obviously i've got a lot of time to look at the recipes um jamie jamie oliver's sort of keeping me going with, it, with his programs i've learned a few dishes off him and uh yeah and that's all fun and games in the kitchen a lot of baking thing going on and tell me about the um the rather severe haircut you've uh you've gone through in the last few days <laughs> i didn't think you'd notice <laughs> yeah was this that, was, did this you was do a, it yourself no nah, this was a couple probably i don't know maybe three weeks ago probably needs done again it was grade three not quite as short as yours paul but <laughs> It was uh, it was it was grade three. Um, the wife did it, and then now it's sort of growing. It's, it's actually quite long, considering what it was. Um, but yeah, it, it needed done at the time, and uh, now now I quite like it. So who knows? We'll, we'll see. Depends if we're back in. I'll either do it again or, or let it grow out. I've never had people jealous of uh, of my <laughs> no need for a barber shop before. <laughs> well, what about the rest of your teammates? Of uh, of a done the same or has anyone gone crazy wow. um yeah one or, one or two have actually gone uh a skin i've seen lewis cook on the zoom call um he's gone skinhead but not quite short enough really probably went four or five um steve cook's uh, got a skinhead how well trained is your dog who's got <laughs> the best trained dog and who's got the worst trained dog in the squad <sighs> I know if you've asked this question to the lads before, the worst train, they're going to say mine. Um, well, I've got a bulldog, so she's, she's very stubborn. Um, that's the problem. Um, I mean, I keep her on the lead when I'm out. Uh, obviously, around the golf course, you have to. But, yeah, she would. she's friendly, but she would sort of chase after bikes and go up to little kids and have jump up and stuff sometimes, which is not ideal. Um, yeah, I've had a few few arguments in the past um mainly my fault really but no nah, she, she's okay i mean the best trained dog 
don't know, Lewis Cooks is quite erratic, uh, very, very energetic. Um, the best train, of course, it's difficult. Probably say my ex teammate Tyrone Mings, but his was getting trained for a year. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so, I mean, these, these dogs, they're not taking on the traits of their owners, are they? If Lewis Cook's dog is full of energy and yours <laughs> is badly trained. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> as long as, well, mine don't have the energy, so no, it can't be taken after me. How uh, how is it sort of keeping in touch with with everyone? Is it uh, because you're 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 such a close knit squad? You're used to doing a lot together outside of training and match days, as as well as everything else, aren't you? So you know, being away from everyone for this long, how how difficult has that been? Yeah, it's been hard actually. Um, you you don't realise how much time we spend together. Um, so yeah. It has been hard, but living where we live, it's it's quite a small place. Um, and even driving driving around or taking the dog out, for example, you you see you see the lads, um, you bump into them. Um, tell me about training then. You 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 know, it's it's sort of stepped up a level recently, has it? Uh, yeah, sort of the last week, um, we were sort of allowed in in on an individual basis. So uh only only really running um there's no sort of ball work as such um and it's only with a fitness coach so you sort of have a a time slot get sent out in the, in the morning and you pick a time that suits you um i'm trying to get in nine till three but i'm not allowed <laughs> uh, but, so yeah you're in for an hour um do your running session and then, and then you come home so it, it's not too bad um but yeah for the first few weeks it was sort of at home following a programme and obviously some people have got a bit of kit, some people haven't. We're, we're quite lucky, we've got Peloton. I, I went and bought a road bike sort of just before lockdown started. Um, I went and invested in a road bike and I really enjoyed going out on that uh, most mornings, to be honest. You have always been a very good trainer, haven't you? I mean, the, the distances you cover during matches is extraordinary. Has it given you an extra... Um, burst of motivation or, or energy, just having that slightly different uh, scenery behind you to, to to do your running. Now that you can go back in an individual basis, um, yeah. I mean, the the first session was tough. Um, but I've probably done three, done four sort of sessions now um, over the last probably I don't know week and a half maybe. Um, and yes, yeah, it's, it's getting easier, and it's actually it's quite enjoyable, to be honest. What about this time of year when when people post things on on social media and and, and on websites and whatever? Because th does it does it bring back fond memories? I think it was was it was it this week five years ago that promotion or the championship? Yeah, the Charlton. Yeah, some yeah, a few people have sent me the the uh, message about that. Yeah, so it was yeah five years ago. Um, obviously, I think it was the other day five years ago and uh yeah one of the lads watched it i don't know i don't know where he watched it but he said you got a good half an hour of that game obviously taking the mic uh, i didn't play a lot in the championship so <laughs> yeah half an hour i remember i remember the game um but yeah we obviously had a great team a great team spirit and uh yeah ultimately winning win the league on the last day of the season was was fantastic so yeah it was a uh, great memory um but it was, yeah, it's amazing how time flies, really. What about that, the parade along the seafront? Bournemouth's always yeah. been sort of <laughs> seen as as this sort of little club. Blimey, it didn't seem a little club that day. They were they were an incredible. Yeah, number. no, it's funny you mentioned that as well. My wife it flashed up on her phone from memories. Probably, I think it was last night or the night before. Um, and she said, Do "You remember this?" And obviously, yeah, the whole beach was absolutely packed. It was it was amazing. Um, couldn't believe how many people turned out for, for the event and uh, yeah, what a fantastic day and what a fan few days really. Um, yeah, brilliant. Can you remember what it, what it meant to, you'd been in the Premier League before, but for, for a club that had never been anywhere close to the, the Premier League before, what, what did it mean as, as a group and as a town and, and everything to, to win promotion to the, to the top flight for the first time? Oh, it was it was incredible. I, I think it took probably everyone by surprise, um, sort of, especially outside of the club. Um, me, sort of, that was my first season coming down and uh, 
coming from Newcastle to Bournemouth and as soon as I seen sort of the quality in training in the first few days, I thought we've we've got a right chance here and uh yeah, it proved that way. Um come the end of the season we were we were dominant throughout really and uh we thoroughly deserved it. Although I don't think anyone would have picked us before the start of the season. I mean I'd like to know what our odds were going up that year anyway. Um but yeah, we we had a great great team, a great spirit and uh we was all striving for the for the same goal and it was just a fantastic fantastic achievement thanks ever so much for joining us today it's been good no fun. problem and good luck with the rest of lockdown and uh cheers paul yeah. thank you very much see you on a pitch soon